Hello fellow Martians and welcome back to Surviving Mars with me, Bubblebox. Now, at the end of the last episode I was thinking of building all these concrete makers to get rid of this, to put our dome in to what was going to be its original position, which I'll quickly show you, was going to be up here. But I've had a little think about it, because if I put it down here, in this kind of orientation, in this position, I've only got to get rid of a little bit of that concrete at the start, which I think is a much better idea. And then, if I put that kind of there, I can build um, a cable network down here, and we can put out moisture evaporators in this kind of area down here. And then our drone hubs there should be able to facilitate these things as well. And I think that's a much better idea, so I think that's what we're going to do. So before we do that though, we're going to bring our second ship in, because our second ship's going to have our drone hub and uh, other bits and pieces that we're going to need. So we're going to bring our second ship in, our second cargo rocket. Get rid of that tutorial. So first of all, we don't need, do we need any? Yeah, we need a drone hub and we definitely need a fuel refinery. If we forgot that, we wouldn't get any ships back to Earth. So we need the fuel refinery and we need the drone hub in our second ship. Now we're going to be bringing quite a lot of heavy equipment because we're also going to need our RC rover in our second ship and our RC transport to grab us those well-needed um, resources from around the map that we uncover. Apart from that, we're going to bring a little bit of food, just in case we manage to get those people in nice and early and there's a bit of food for them. And then we're just going to stock up on resources. Now, I haven't got any electronics because we're going to bring a few electronics, a few machine parts. I really would like to start building wind turbines as soon as possible. So I'm going to bring 20 machine parts to maybe facilitate that, although I think we're going to have to stick to um, solar panels at the start. So let's, I think that's everything I need. Yeah, yeah, let's get that going, get that down towards our base. So what we're going to do, we're going to let them carry on gathering resources and filling up these, um, I keep forgetting what they're called, these um, depots, that's it. And we're going to build our network out a little bit as planned and we're going to bring the cable power down here past these sensor towers so we're going to bring it just down here and then around this region i think that's where one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five because we're going to want to start building probably can put in here our first where is it we've got a number of these haven't we because we got them in an anomaly we've got five moisture evaporators so we're going to put the first one here they do have to be spaced out a little bit these moisture evaporators but if we put the first one in tuck that right in as far as it will go so we're going to put that one in there sector scan and i'm going to build two to start with and you can oh i'll let that build first and i'll be able to see exactly where to put the second one uh, we've got another sector scan. The scan is going well. We're on 431 sensor tower boost. That is insane. And uh, you are, are you? Yes, you are analysing that anomaly, which is good. So let's get this built. And then, so that's been built. So I'm going to put another one in fairly close, as close as I want to go. And I think, you can you adjust? Oh, you can't. That's the area around which it's doing its moisture evaporating. Dust storm approaching. And we've got a dust storm on the way as well, which isn't a problem at the moment, this early in the game, I don't think. So we'll stick our second moisture evaporator anomaly just there. Analyzed. And just extend our network a little bit. We'll check out that anomaly in a second. I'll just get this little bit of building done. Cable fault reported. Slow it down just a little bit. And then we're gonna when our ship arrives, we're gonna put our next our, our, our um, fuel depot right in the middle of those two moisture evaporators so that they can supply it with water. So how much power do these take? Ooh, five. That's quite a lot, isn't it? So we're going to have to keep an eye on our power if we build too many of those things as well. Okay, I'm tempted to build a couple more batteries. I think I'm going to do that, give the uh, bots something to do. We'll have two more batteries. In fact, we'll just have one more to start with, one more battery to start with. Let's check out what we've got for that anomaly. New text. Oh, lots of the text. World. Lots of text uncovered. And we've got the Moxie upgrade, which is good. Uh, we've got the polymer factory, which we'll need shortly. Drone swarm, which we could do with probably not 
too early in the game. I'll still go for this tech here. We could have got the drone swarm before we put our drone hub. But I want to get that drone hub down as soon as possible. Uh, low GI and more applicants appear on Earth tech as well. So let's speed things up. Get things moving. So the dome's going to go here. This guy is, needs to clear this concrete as soon as possible. Um, we're just waiting on our ship really. So let's speed up to get our ship down. And we'll turn that off because we don't actually need it just yet. But I just wanted to put them into position. So they're both built, ready to go. We do need pipes between them because we're going to put our um, we're going to put our um, what's it called? Our Sector scanned. Fuel generator in between those two. Although I might not need them both up and running at the start until we get to our how much water do each of those produce? How much water do you produce? One. Okay. And I think the first dome needs one water. And I think the fuel depot needs one water as well. We didn't get any more anomalies, unfortunately. So we'll bring our friend back just to uh, get boosted, get his uh, pack boosted, get his electric pack boosted. We have got some deep metals. Uh, that is deep. So we're going to have to have the deep technology to grab those. We could do with a normal metal around and about somewhere quite soon. Uh, we are deep scanning everything, so we don't have to rescan everything because we are the astrogeologist and we deep scan from the start of the game. So, uh, we're just waiting. Oh, our, ro our rocket has arrived, has arrived. So let's plonk this probably around here. Um, I might put it just over this way a little bit. Actually, I'll put it near this other rocket because it can unload all its resources there. We can get our drone hub down. So we'll land our rocket and then we'll be able to get our drone hub down we'll have our transport we'll have loads more bots doing some work so that should come in really quickly so we'll get that down and we'll get things to work so first of all we'll send our transport out to gather some resources for us we'll go to one of the further away places oh nothing in there okay maybe over here we've got 10 we'll grab those spare t is that the no we've got some we've got 10 somewhere i can't see them Sometimes you can't see them. Um, we've got some polymers there, actually. Although our drone hub might be able to reach those. It can go and collect them anyway. It can save the, save the job of our drones. So we'll send him over to grab... I think we'll call our explorer she, and we'll call our transport he. I hope that's acceptable to people, because I keep using he or she all the time. So we'll send that over there. That's cool. And we've got some more here. These are just going to unload... In fact, we'll put them a little bit more centrally, I think. And we can put our drone hub down. So let's grab our drone hub. We should have it somewhere. Drone hub, drone hub. Let's, is it, which, what's it under? Is it under here? Yes, there it is. Now I'm thinking of putting it just in that little corner there next to all of our depots. And I think that's going to cover everything I need it to cover. So I'm very happy to put it just there. What orientation shall we use? Right, tuck it right in the corner. The thing sticking out the side are the recharge points for the bots. So we'll stick that there. And we've also, hopefully, I did remember it, didn't I? Please, I did remember it. Um, where is it? Under storages. No, it's under fuel refinery. There's that fuel refinery. That's going right in the centre of these two. In fact, fairly close to this one. I could maybe tuck it in a bit further, can I? Tuck that nicely in there. In fact, I, I'm going to put it over here, actually. I think here can I tuck that in anymore no it's going to go there so there's our fuel refinery in so that's going to start building fuel for our rockets next thing we need to think about is getting some boxes and some oxygen and stuff ready for our first uh, people to arrive from Earth so these are, you can see are very busily unloading all the stuff from our ship and once they've done that they'll go and collect the rest of these resources that are around and about the place. We've got some uh, metals over here. We've got some more metals over here for them to collect. And our guy here is going to be collecting more metals and hopefully the polymers as well and bringing them back. So that's all good. Now, next thing we really need is for this concrete maker to get rid of those 188 Sector deposits scanned. of concrete for us. Well, so until it's done that, we need things for our bots to do. So what I'm going to do also, I think, is I'm going to put down uh, a stumping site over here somewhere for all these all the rubbish that's coming out of the concrete that'll, that'll come in handy later on 
but not at this stage we've got three batteries that are doing okay oh i will quickly check my energy we're on 22 we have got we need to turn on this one of these which one should we turn on if we turn on this one so that our uh, fuel generator's got something to uh it's got something to pull water from so we've got enough evaporators to produce two water at the moment now i'm going to want another one down we might as well get them built and probably could go in this direction actually over here put one over there somewhere so let's just see where that would fit uh, if we wanted another water evaporator down uh, let's have a look where are my water evaporators oh it's under this isn't it yeah sometimes I forget where things are I could put it kind of there don't want it overlapping or we could kind of go up closer to the rock which wouldn't be a bad thing I wonder if it still moist evaporates even though it's even though it's up against the rock here. I suppose it would. We could put it just there, actually. That might be that might be just fine. Yeah? Why don't we put it there? Is it still in range of our drone hub? Yes, it is. So I think we'll put another moisture evaporator right up over here. Research complete. Don't think that's going to be a problem. Just Sector scan. Could even put it there. Uh, let's spin it round so we've got the uh, pipes in the right direction. Uh, I know which way, that way, that way, that way, I think that way. Uh, yep, that'll be fine. And let's get a cabling network and some pipes off to that as well. Let's pause real quick. I want to get, that, get these down, get some cabling in. And in fact, let's put the pipes first because you can see where the pipes are, can't you? So we'll get the pipes in. Um, we're going to go just to there, come across there there like that and we'll put a bit of cabling in to go with it thus that should be okay so oh, immediately they come across and uh, I think we've got a nice little compact very efficient setup here now we should start filling up these ships with fuel now what I do want to try and do is get this advanced Martian engines quite quickly at the moment we're on Earth Mars initiative and I'm gonna swap that I'm gonna swap it I'm gonna do the fuel first because that will save us a, save us quite a lot of fuel actually and then after that uh, I'm not sure um, we're gonna need that eventually I might start trying to get some better people from Earth maybe we'll put it on we could always change that later I could do with some more anomalies though. Uh, let's set some more scans up as well. Uh, where should we go next? Let's scan the bigger regions. That's a 91%. We'll scan that one and we'll scan that one and then that one and then and then we'll think about it. Then we'll think about it. So how are we getting on getting rid of this concrete so we can get our first dome down? We uh, need, still need to take away how much? Still need to take away 163 that'll go quite quickly if I keep it on reasonable speed that'll go quite quickly okay we've got a dust storm coming in 20 hours and what the dust storm does just to remind myself as well as you guys let you guys know is uh, basically it creates dust anywhere shuttles will finish their final course and then return to their hubs until the storm passes okay so shuttles that's not going to affect us we haven't got stuff shuttles yet electrostatic can occur their lightning strikes can damage buildings and stuff. Um, so basically, things run less efficiently and uh, your solar panels are going to get clogged up and all sorts of things. So let's. Well, speaking of solar panels, I always need to keep an eye out on your power consumption. So we've got a power surplus of 12. Um, we've got, well, we can turn one of, our, one of these Cable things off. Cable fault reported. Now what we can do, we can start to build stuff. Sector scanned. Oh, anything? Nothing. Oh. We can start to build stuff in preparation for getting our first dome. And what we can build, we can get down uh, life support, get down a moxie and some storage. So we'll get down a moxie to produce oxygen. Consumption is two, two electricity. Now we can stick them in here, keep everything nice and compact. It's going to be looking, it's looking really cool, this base, because it's all so going to be the most efficient base ever at the start and so many people go for that water but if you do use water evaporators you can keep your your um, bases much more compact 
So we're going to stick that in there. And we're going to need a little bit of storage. I'm, I, I think I'm fairly happy to keep my moisture evaporators and my storage kind of in one area along here. See how that goes. So we'll get um, a water tower in as well. And that means we can space these out and just put water towers and oxygen supplies between them maybe. That might work out quite well. So we'll put that in there. And we'll get an oxygen storage as well. I'm still getting used to the AI a little bit. Uh, the UI a little bit. Well, oxygen tank. Will that fit in there? It's not quite going to fit in, is it? Milestone no. achieved. No, no, Sector quite. scan. Well, I could put it back there. No, that's not going to fit. We're going to have to put you, my friend. Will it fit in there? I could put it on the other side, I suppose. That's perfectly acceptable, I think. Put it in there. Yeah, why not? We'll put that in there. So that'll get built as well. Um, dust storm 19 hours another sector scandal we have actually discovered some water we have water it's still not relative it's still not really close to our base although it's not too far away but we could use that we could indeed use that uh, very low though low grade um, is it worth it I'm not so sure I think we'll stick to our moisture evaporators at least for our first hub and the thing about the moisture evaporators is they're never going to run out are they we need to turn another one on by the way so we can get things filled up. Oh, why can't I? Oh, they're turned off. <gasps> Are they turned off in dust storms? Moisture evaporators turned off in dust storms. I never knew that. Building has been turned off. Right. The building doesn't. Oh, so moisture evaporators don't work in dust storms. Oh, God. That means we're going to have to have lots of uh, storage. So if we have storage between each of these, then we should be okay. So we're going to need to put Sector some more storage scanned. down. Anomaly yeah. found. Oh, we have an anomaly. We have an anomaly. So we can send our explorer out to check that out. So yes, that's really interesting. So hmm, I'm going to have to bear that in mind for future building. And it also stops us building our... Uh, making fuel for now as well. I'm going to want to put a fuel depot down as well, actually, thinking about it. So we'll get a fuel depot down. Might be able to just fit that in somewhere handy. Just put it there, I think. Maybe just there so I can see it. Yeah, so we can see see the fuel on it. That'll be cool. How are we for... I bet we've got an, on a real shortage at night. Power shortage of eight at night, which isn't terrible. Um, of course... Ah, we're going to have to build some more water and oxygen storage as well, I think. Um, that's metals. Just checking on maintenance. We don't want our maintenance to go through the roof. That's metals. That's metals as well. Okay. So how are we doing on the concrete? Are we, are we clearing? Are we clearing? We're on 100. And, oh, it's going down. We're on, nearly down to 100 production left before we can uh, Sector scan. get that position free still no more anomalies over in here no we've got plenty of plenty of supplies and stuff well, in fact we can send uh, this chap our transport just to go and collect all this stuff actually it might be useful so we'll go and grab all that stuff and take that back to here have we got any supplies left in our ships no they are getting fueled up got no supplies left so the Anomaly dust storm analyzed. ah okay tex there's more to the barren environs. Lots of text. Meets the Lots of um, research is done. So we've got fuel compression. That increases. Now that's okay. Uh, water reclamation could be useful. Drone hubs. That's useful because we can speed up production. Although it's 2000. I don't want to really spend out on that at the start. I'd rather get the cheaper ones. And then we've got scientists and botanists. So all useful, but we just need to get this one done. It's, it's not far off. It's not far off getting done. So that's good. So I think everyone's beavering away quite merrily. We're under heavy production. We'll put another storage up here. We'll put another dumping ground up here for our bits and pieces being produced up there. How many more has he got left? This one, 138. This one's going well, though. And down to 100 and 13 now so hopefully before the end of this episode we can get that put out of the way and get our dome down so are we producing enough 
because I haven't used these evaporators before. So that's producing just for that, but is it producing enough to start filling these up? Not really. So we're going to need another one on. So we'll turn that one on. So we'll be getting two, and we should start to fill up. Yeah, start producing that Sector there. scanned. Anomaly found. And we're increasing that as well. Okay, so we're going to we are going to need more storage, aren't we? There's another anomaly. Um, so we can send. Let's give you a bit of a charge first, and then we'll send you down there. So you come over for your charge. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to bite the bullet, and I'm going to build some more storage right now because I don't want to run out of storage. So we'll put another oxygen tank in. We could just put them on this side, to be fair. I don't think I'll do that. So we'll put an oxygen tank in there, and we'll put... Um, another water tower in next to it as well nice and compact excellent Research complete. I'm liking it and then we'll send once this transports ready not transport our Explorer is ready we'll send you down to check out that anomaly got plenty of scans to go we'll put set some more scans up let's scan over um, 180% we'll do that one and that one and then we'll come down we'll come over to this side and do those yeah then we'll do that one as well okay so I'm happy that all these sh should be filling gradually increasing yep 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 all increasing excellent and we're getting fuel for our ships oh I'm just gonna put that on low priority real quick I haven't got the tech yet have I I don't want that to go past 40 oh no we have got it we're okay okay let's get this ship off then We'll put them both on normal priority. We'll get those ships off. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. We'll get this off nice and early. We've got another anomaly. What have we got? Oh, it's just more techs. Okay. More techs. Okay, let's get this anomaly done first. Which uh, our lady down there is doing. Oh, he's blocked. Come on, guys. Get this unblocked. Have we actually run out of storage space for concrete? We've got so much. We have. We've got so much concrete coming in. So let's get another concrete depot down. And we'll put it just we'll put it over this side there let's get that unblocked so they will rush over immediately to do that i'm really liking the compactness of this space discovered okay we have a breakthrough hive mind i've never seen that before residents of the uh, in the arcology which the arcology is up here by the way i think is it oh no what does the arcology do of the arcology Get a bonus to work performance based on the number of unique perks and specialization to have in the arcology. Can't quite remember what the arcology does. We'll have to check that out a little bit later. So let's continue. So we've got a breakthrough tech that we can research if you want. And we can send you up for a charge before we send you off to your next job. And are you still doing stuff? You are still doing stuff. That's good. And we should be filling our oxygen and our water so that is getting done as well so we'll just check on the main screen you can check your supplies and things so we've got a power shortage it is at night actually yeah I've built all this stuff we might struggle for power so I need to keep an eye on that um, so in fact power production is 10 there power demand we'll check it out what it is in the day uh, water is what I wanted to look at. Water production is two, water demand is one, and we are getting our stored water up. So that's all good. And then when we build our hub, we will turn on this last last um, um, evaporator as well, I think. We've still got two more evaporators uh, ready to go if we need them as well. So how are you doing, my friend? Are you getting that concrete done? He's, he is. Uh, 83 left to get rid of. Sector scanned. No resources, but we can send our explorer off to, where is it, to grab this anomaly over here to, to discover some more techs. Our first rocket is ready to go. So this one, yeah, nothing in it. So let's send that off and all the drones will transfer over to the drone hub. So we'll send you off. Off you go. This one should start getting, yep. Yeah, got nine fuel already that will take off very Milestone shortly Milestone achieved off that goes super um, oh they're taking all that rock over there which 
I think it actually is okay. I'm happy. I'm fairly happy with that. Taking the rock over there. Um, I'm even wondering whether to set up another concrete over here. Uh, no, because we want to get rid of this concrete. This concrete is what we want to get rid of next to our dr our first uh, dome because that's going to produce a lot of dust and it might contaminate our dome actually, thinking about it. So we're going to want to get rid of all this concrete eventually. Now, what I do need probably, let's check out the power. Is it daytime? I think it's daytime. No, it's still nighttime. No, it is daytime. It is daytime. How much power have we got? Just five. That's not enough. That's not enough to cover us off for the for the night time. So we need to build some more power. And uh, I'm going to stay off. I'm going to back off from building um, turbines for now. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick. We're going to have to stick with the solar power panels. So we'll do we'll stick down. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? The power cable first. Extend it out this way a little bit, probably, probably, and see if I can remember the order in which to put these down. Uh, so, solar panel, we're going to have to come, I think, around this central hub there. So turn that round there. Is that right? Or is it there? God, I've got, oh, I've got to get this right. I always get this wrong. So that's one, two. Three, four, five, that's right, yeah, six, and with a little power cable in the centre. So that's our next, so that should keep us going, get them going, get them building that. That should keep us going in power. Oh, Research did I just delete complete. that? I think I did, let's put that down. Okay, so, got the Earth Mars initiative done. That gives us 500 sponsor research and 100 explorer research now. And we are going to be cracking on with uh, more applicants on Earth. Is that essential yet? Or am I better off getting something else? Uh, drone hulls we don't need. Extractor amplification would be nice to get that concrete out of the ground. Although eh, it's not over essential to be honest at this stage. I think we'll continue with Life on Mars. Then we'll do extractors. And then we'll queue up. Actually we'll do a high G first. We might be able to get our people in a little bit earlier. So let's crack on. Okay, good. Are you analysing? Oh, you're doing nothing. So we can send you somewhere. Um, let's send you right over here to collect some resources over here. There's a few there. We'll grab those from the outskirts of our little colony and bring them back to base. Um, what about your scanning? Discovered. Ah, okay another breakthrough let's check this out then so oh i haven't seen this one either prefab compression all spires can be ordered as prefabs from earth that's interesting we're going to have to check those out and see what's available uh, from earth and we'll send you back for a recharge while we're thinking about it as well so we can go back to there right so all i really need to do now is get rid of Oh, we got plenty of water stored and oxygen ready. Let's just check that Sector out. Sector scanned. We've still got a huge. We've got minus. Tw we've got plus forty power during the day now with that extra solar array up. So that's going to keep us going. Whether I, <coughs> I'm probably going to need more once I build my dome, we'll have to see. Um, just checking on the water production to demand of one, and we're still storing stuff. So that's good. It's all cool. Okay, good. How are we doing on the concrete? We still got a hundred oh, 59. 59 to go. So let's take. Oh, you're going to be getting ready to take off. I think this is probably. Let's put some more storage down for the rocks. Keeps our keeps our drones with something to do as well. We'll just spread them across there. That's fine. Just put that there. I'll collect these rocks up hopefully here he comes straight away get rid of those nice and quick excellent we've got another <coughs> scan on the way 65 percent we'll just check this scan up off check this scan and see what we're going to be doing there before i uh, finish the episode we've got 23 there and yeah we've still got 50 to get rid of before we can build our first dome so we'll just check out 
what we're going to be analyzing over there and then kind of in the next episode we're going to get this concrete finished we're going to build our dome and we're going to get definitely going to get some people in maybe actually going to need some more power to accomplish all that and i'm Sector actually scanned. fairly happily to put another solar array in here i think so no resources there so i think we'll end our episode right here just uh and we'll when we come back we'll finish the concrete we'll get the dome built we'll get some people in thank you all very much for watching please do bung me a like if you enjoyed this episode subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one